Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Breaking news, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has signed a new contract at the club until 2024. There's an option of a further year. I'm very, very sceptical that Solskjaer will see out this new contract. Oli has under a year left on the current three-year contract he signed when he got the job permanently back in March 2019. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer does deserve at least another season at Manchester United. You know, these United fans that are Oli in, there's also United fans that are Oli out. I've heavily criticised Solskjaer a lot during his managerial tenure at Man United, but despite that, I think he is our best manager since Ferguson because in certain aspects he has brought consistency back. I can assure though that Oli is not the long term manager for Manchester United and I think a lot of United fans will agree with me on that aspect. Uh, next season is going to be massive for Solskjaer and I think he is aware of that. You know, next season will be his third full season at the club because at the moment Solskjaer has endured two full seasons. I'd say next season Solskjaer has to win a trophy. You know, he's not yet won a trophy as Man United manager and we haven't won a trophy since 2017, which is nowhere near good enough to our standards. And Solskjaer must improve his decision-making next season because in a lot of the games he's managed so far at Man United, he has been tactically naive. But Solskjaer's ambition for next season is, is to win the Premier League. You know, we haven't won the Premier League since 2013, which is eight years ago now. These United fans are sceptical that we're going to win a Premier League title under Ole. Solskjaer has been in charge of Manchester United for 31 months now, which is over two years. Reflecting now on his being at the football club, he has gained some managerial experience and he's learned quite a bit on the job. Oli hasn't got a proven pedigree as a manager. That doesn't mean that he can't succeed as Manchester United manager. Before he was with us, he was at Mulder. He won a few Norwegian titles at Mulder, but they're not a big club. He enjoyed two spells at Mulder, and before Mulder, he was at Cardiff, and his record at Cardiff was absolutely disastrous. And he managed the Man United reserve team for a couple of years, so he watched some of this team grow and develop. Um, in a way, I am surprised that Solskjaer is still Manchester United manager because we've endured very bad periods under him where he's been extremely close to getting sacked and we lost the Europa League final last season to Villa Real. But I think with Solskjaer being a club legend, that's what's basically saved his job. We appointed Solskjaer in, in December 2018 to replace Mourinho and he's been permanent Manchester United manager since March 2019. You know, these quite a lot of things I've got to credit Oli for. Um, he's more or less given everybody their chances to express themselves, including the young players. I think he has made good signings as Manchester United manager. Solskjaer has now spent over three hundred million pounds at the club. Uh, he must have brought a good fifteen, sixteen players in or something like that. You know, in the summer of twenty nineteen, he brought Daniel James and Wan Bissaka and Harry Maguire in. In January twenty twenty, he brought Bruno Fernandez in and Odu Nagala in on loan. We'll let Agarlo go in January this year. 
In the summer of 2020, which was last summer, he brought Edison Cavani in, Donny van der Beek, Alex Tellez, Ahmad Dilo, Traore and Facundo Palestri. Palestri is now a battle of us, but we did loan him out in January. Last summer, we got four of those players on deadline day. And in this summer chance window so far, Ollie's brought Tommy Eaton in on a free from Aston Villa. And obviously, we brought Jaden Sancho in. Man United confirmed the signing of Jaden Sancho yesterday. Jaden Sancho has signed a contract with the club until June 2026. There's an option of a further year. Jaden Sancho will wear the number 25 shirt. I actually thought he was going to be wearing the number 7 shirt, but Cavani's going to keep the number 7 shirt for next season. A um, few weeks ago, he said that Manchester United agreed a fee of £73 million with Borussia Dortmund for Sancho. And last week, Sancho completed his medical with Man United. Not so long ago, though, it said the announcement of Jadon Sancho's transfer to Man United was delayed by a minor issue, but Fabrizio Romano did say that the paperwork had been sorted between Man United and Dortmund for Sancho. And Solskjaer's brought quite a few academy players in. Uh, he's got rid of a lot of players, Solskjaer, as well, since he's come in. Uh, we obviously let Tahith Chong go out on loan to Birmingham. I don't know if he's gone there yet. Um, he actually played in our first pre-season friendly against Derby, and Chong got his name on the score sheet. Surprised he's agreed to go to Birmingham on loan. Uh, not so long ago, we released eight players. Uh, six of them were academy players, but I can't remember all the names of them. Uh, I know we released Sergio Romero, and we also released Joel Pereira. Back in January, uh, like I mentioned, we let Agarlo go. We let Facundo Palestri go out on loan, but he's now back. Uh, we let Tiedem Mengi also go out on loan, I think, to Derby. We also let Lingard go out on loan to West Ham. Lingard enjoyed a four-month loan spell with West Ham and he made a fantastic impact. Um, I don't know what's happening with Jesse Lingard. Solskjaer did say not so long ago that Lingard is part of Man United's plans for the new season. West Ham do want Lingard, but they've been struggling to meet his asking price. We're demanding like £30 million. Uh, Everton recently entered the race. Lingard's current contract at Man United expires next year. At one point, though, it said Lingard told Solskjaer in a meeting that he wants to stay at Man United. And it says we was preparing to offer Lingard a new three-year contract worth £130,000 a week. Uh, we let Timothy Fossamensa go in January and we also let Marcus Rojo go. And in the other transfer windows, Ollie's enjoyed. We've seen a lot of other players go as well. We um, loaned Diego De Lo out, didn't we? Um, he was out on loan with AC Milan. We also let uh, Andres Pereira go out on loan to Lazio. Um, obviously, we've seen the likes of Ashley Young leave the club, seen Valencia leave the club, seen Smalling leave the club, we've seen Damian leave the club, seen Herrera leave the club, seen Fellaini leave the club, seen Angel Gomez leave the club. Uh, Sanchez left, Lukaku left as well. So they are a lot of the players we've let go under Solskjaer. I like the way as well Solskjaer develops the youth. Um, in Solskjaer's first full season, he got us to three semi-finals. Got us a third place finish. Um, he did well in quite a lot of aspects in his second full season. He got us 
to the Europa League finally, got us to the EFL Cup semi-final, got us to the FA Cup quarter-final, got us a second-place finish last season, and last season went the entire season without losing away from home in the Premier League. And Solskjaer knew when he'd taken over at Man United it was going to be a massive job, despite him knowing the club through thick and thin. And he knew he had a lot to do when he came in. But in general, I do think Ole has done a good job to say the current squad he was left with when he got appointed in as Man United manager. I didn't expect Solskjaer to do as well as he has done. So, there you go. I am expecting Manchester United to enjoy a very good summer transfer window. Obviously, this summer transfer window is Solskjaer's fifth transfer window as permanent Man United manager. Uh, Solskjaer made it clear that he wants to make around four signings in this summer transfer window and he identified the areas in the squad where he wants to strengthen up. But I am very convinced that Solskjaer is going to get all the players he wants to recommend in and it's about time he got the backing he deserves because he wasn't backed enough for such a long time. Um. When we have been inconsistent, not all of the blame has stemmed from Ollie. He's been accountable for certain things, but I think during a lot of them bad periods, uh, certain players have had to take responsibility. And I hate the way the football club has been run for a long time. You know, like I said, you know the Glazers, they've been one of the biggest problems at Man United for a long time. The Glazers have put us in so much debt. The Glazers have been at Manchester United for 16 years. They bought the club for £500 million back in 2005. Uh, United fans have been demanding the Glazers out. There was a lot of United fans protesting against the Glazers at Old Trafford towards the end of last season. Solskjaer did reveal towards the end of last season that the Glazers... Um, apologised because they was planning to scrap the Champions League for that European Super League. And it said the Glazers could be forced to sell Man United but for only £4 billion. Uh, Woodward, he's been one of the biggest problems at the club for a long time. Uh, Woodward is leaving Manchester United, as you are all aware. Uh, Woodward has had a 16-year association with the club. But um, in this summer transfer window, we're going to focus on the incomings and the outgoings, aren't we? Uh, there's a lot of players that Man United are linked with. Um, obviously, Varane, uh, Man United are close to getting him. Uh, there's been quite a few midfielders on our agenda. Um, obviously, we've been looking at Ruben Neves from Wolves. It recently said that Man United are leading Arsenal in the race to sign Ruben Neves. Wolves are willing to sell him for £35 million. Uh, we try to get Eduardo Camavinga from Rennes. Uh, Sport Build recently said that Man United submitted a contract offer to sign Leon Goretzka from Bayern Munich on a free transfer in the summer of 2022, which is next year. And Sol Niguez, you know, from Atletico Madrid, he's been another midfielder on our agenda. Uh, the players I think could leave Man United in this summer transfer window um, is Brandon Williams. I'm expecting us to loan him out to obviously gain him more experience and to get him a lot more opportunities because Williams is our third choice left back. He seldom plays for Man United. Uh, 
Um, Alex Telles, he's been subjected to transfer speculation. I think we could offload him. Um, it recently said Inter Milan want Alex Telles on loan. And Sky in Italy said the other week that Roma were in talks to sign Alex Telles as a replacement for the injured Leonardo Spinazzola. Telez has only endured one season at Man United where he's hardly played. He's made like nine appearances in the Premier League. When we got Telez last year, I expected him to be our first choice left back immediately. We got Telez for 15.4 million. He's under contract with Man United until 2024. Phil Jones, um, I'm expecting us to offload him because uh, Phil Jones has always been inconsistent plus he doesn't get in our 11 and he was out of injury for a while last season. Phil Jones is the only outfield player that's still with us from the Sir Alex Ferguson era. Jones has been long-serving player at Man United. He's enjoyed 10 years at the club. Um, Axel Tuanzebe, we've agreed to let him go, which is the right decision. Uh, Diego Delo, um, I think he will be leaving. Uh, Manjis Pereira, he will be leaving. Uh, Paul Popper could still leave Man United in this summer transfer window. i give you the news on Paul Popper this morning. Uh, Man United are expecting PSG to make their move for Paul Pogba before the transfer window shuts. PSG are confident that they can get Paul Pogba for around £43 million after having talks with Paul Pogba's agent, Minio Riola. Uh, Fabrizio Romano did recently say that nothing is advanced between Paul Pogba and PSG. Uh, Paul Pogba was recently discussing the personal terms with PSG and it said Man United is set to receive a 60 million euro bid from PSG for Pogba. PSG wants to partner Pogba alongside Juan Yardem in their midfield. Uh, Sky Sports said yesterday that Paul Pogba is increasingly unlikely to sign a new Man United contract. Um, it recently said that Paul Pogba rejected a new £50 million contract offer at Manchester United. So he's set to leave this summer. Paul Popper's current contract at Man United expires next year because obviously last season we triggered that one year extension on his contract. It actually mentioned not so long ago that a new contract for Paul Popper could see him stay at Man United for the rest of his career. Um, it said Paul Popper decides to run his contract down then he'll make a decision on his future next summer. Uh, but Pogba has had a long-running transfer saga. You know, he hasn't only been linked with PSG, he's been linked with Real Madrid. Um, he's been linked with his former club Juventus. He did enjoy four good years with Juventus before he rejoined Man United. Uh, Barcelona have obviously been in for him as well. And Inter Milan have been in for Pogba before. Pogba's enjoyed five seasons at Man United since he rejoined. He's won three trophies at the club so far. He's our most expensive signing at the moment because we paid £89 million for him. Pogba produced his best performances for Man United in the last couple of months of last season, but at one point last season, Pogba was out with a thigh injury for a while. So there you go. Um, I initially thought Anthony Martial, Donny van der Beek, Matic and De Gea were going to be leaving, but looks like now they're going to be staying. Like I say, um, there's a lot of players that are going to stay at Manchester United, and I reckon there's quite a few players that have got long-term futures at the club. 
But um, Oli is our fourth permanent manager since Ferguson, as you all know. Uh, the three managers we've sat since Ferguson was David Moyes after 10 months. We sat Louis van Gaal after two years, despite him winning the FA Cup. And we sat Jose Mourinho after two and a half years, despite him winning the Europa League, the League Cup and the Community Shield in his first season. And Mourinho got a second place finish in his first season. So you can say he enjoyed one good season at Man United. So anyway guys, that's everything's updated today. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribing as always and take care. God bless. See you all again very, very soon.